are about to hear a romantic drama, Tiny Pink Elephant, from Love Story magazine, featuring the love story girl in the role of June Mayworth. Time, 7.30 o'clock in the evening. Place, the luxurious boudoir of June Mayworth. It's the night of June's wedding, and her sister Julie is helping her dress for the ceremony. Oh, for heaven's sake, June, stand still. Yeah. Jumping around like a nervous guinea pig, and in an hour and a half you'll be married to the most eligible bachelor in town. You can have him. June, Cecil Arroy is the season's catch. Certainly a lot better than that collegiate boyfriend of yours that disappeared four years ago. Is his name? Oh, yes, Jerry. Oh, stop talking. My goodness, I'm nervous enough with a wedding to go through in an hour and a half, and I know Father's going to cry. He always does at weddings. Now stop that. Stop it. You're getting hysterical. Wait a minute. I'll turn on the radio. I must say, you're behaving awfully silly. Will the owner of the other pink elephant please call immediately at the receiving hospital? Oh, never Shut up. All the information we have from the hospital is that a well-dressed man about 27 years of age with dark hair and eyes was brought there late this afternoon. He was critically injured in an automobile crash. Yes. Although questioned as to his identity, he has steadfastly refused to say anything, except to ask that a request for the owner of the other pink coral elephant be broadcast over the city. Yes. Thank you. And now we return you to our musical program. Shut it off. That's about time. Oh, Jim, what's the matter? Nothing. You're as white as a sheet and you're trembling. Uh, I'm all right. Just let me alone, will you? What in the world has gotten into you? Is there something that announces, Ted, what we'll be talking about? Oh, yes, pink coral elephant. Say, wait a minute. I don't suppose it could be this coral elephant of yours that you're talking about, could it? Julia, I, I don't know. Where'd I... you get it? From Jerry, before he went away. June. June, what are you doing? That's not your wedding dress. I know it. Jerry's lying there hurt, maybe dying. I've got to go to the hospital. Cecil will be furious if you're late for the ceremony. You can't do it, June. Can't I? You just watch. In Ward B. This way, please. Is he so terribly hurt? Internal injuries. I'm afraid he hasn't much chance. So, is he conscious? Oh, yes. He begged us not to give him the morphine and said he wanted to stay conscious as long as possible in, in case the person with the other pink elephant came. Oh. In here, please. He's in the last bed on the right, under the window. Oh, his face is so gray. Jerry. Jerry. June, dear. You heard? Jerry, I... Don't, don't sniffle, June. It makes your face look like an old mom. Oh. Sit down. No, no, nurse. No hypodermic yet. June, I'd lost your address. I was afraid you wouldn't hear. Oh, Jerry, why did you take such an awful chance of missing me? I didn't want you to come unless you wanted to. You see, I haven't heard from you or about you for years. I thought maybe you'd be married. Are you? No, Jerry. No, you don't have to look at your watch. There's plenty of time. Will I... The doc uh... said he wouldn't start tinkering inside me for half an hour oh. yet. They're waiting for a blood donor or something. Jerry, why did you leave college without seeing me? I'm sorry, June. Did I hurt you terribly? Yes. But I got over it. It was the best way. You see, that last night that I saw you, I knew I'd be gone in the morning. I just accepted a job with an oil company in South America. Oh, Jerry, why didn't you tell me? I was assigned to surveying a new field they were opening up in the interior in the jungle. I couldn't ask you to Oh. You'd have been torn away from everything in life you'd ever known. You'd have ended by hating me. Oh, you should have told me anyway. I'd have understood. This way, I... I just thought you'd get tired of me. That was what I wanted you to think. I wanted you to be free. I... <gasps> Jerry! No, I'm, I'm all right. For a little while yet, anyway. Have you... Have you still got the elephant? No. You didn't think I'd ever part with it, did you? Here. See, I remember the queer way you smiled when you gave it to me. I thought it was funny. But I didn't know then that it was the last night. 
Do you know why I came here to this city? No. I came to see you. For four years I've wanted to come, and last month I got the break I needed, and then that fool truck ran into me and spoiled everything. June, I've got to tell you something. I've got to talk fast. It's about some money. Fifty thousand dollars, to be exact. I've scraped it together during the last four years. Why, Jerry, you... Unless I do something about it pretty quick, that money will go to one of the most pompous fools that ever lived. That's one reason why I wouldn't let them know who I was here at the hospital. Uncle Milton might be able to get here in time. It would be pretty bad to have to see that face of his the last thing in life. Oh, please. Please don't talk like that. Well, anyway, the point is, would you mind marrying me in the next 15 minutes? You, you want me to marry you just so your uncle won't get your money? Sorry. Skip it. Oh, Jerry, I don't mean that. I mean... Miss Lewis, the reporters are outside. The reporters? But how did they know I was here? One of them recognized you as you came in. Yeah, but, but what are they doing well, here? Well, they were waiting for the owner of the other pink elephant. Oh. And when it turned out to be someone who's well-known and just about to I'll get... see them right away, nurse. June, you'll be back. Even if you won't marry me, come back just for a minute. Don't worry, Jerry. I'll come. Just a minute, Miss Wayworth. Hold it. That's fine. Oh, please. Please let me alone. Where's the telephone? If it's Mr. Leroy you want to call, he'll be here in a few minutes. Be here? Yeah. We called him 15 minutes ago. He was just leaving for the church. You hadn't any right to do that. It's none of your business. Sorry, Miss Mayworth, but it is our oh. business. When there's a big society wedding and the bride slips off to keep a date with a pink elephant oh. in the hospital, boy, that's a red-hot story with pictures. Oh, you don't know what you're doing. It means everything to me. Yeah, and it means our job. <laughs> okay, boy. Well, what is it this I, time? I, oh, Cecil. Do you realize that everybody's at the church now? But I had to come, Cecil. It's Jerry. You know, the man I knew at Southwestern. He, he's dying. I had to see him. Well, now that you've seen him, we better go. We're late enough now. Then there's still going to be a wedding? Naturally. But, Cecil, I've got to see Jerry again before I leave the hospital. You don't have to see him. I promise. Now, wait a minute. I'll go see him myself. Find out if he's still conscious. Where is he? In Ward D, down that corridor. I'll no, come... you stay here and tell the reporters whatever they want to know about the wedding. That will save time. If your friend is still conscious, I'll call you. Now, Miss Mayworth, come on, answer questions. We've got to make a deadline. Where did you meet him? Well, I... Four years ago, that is. Oh, please don't bother me. I'm I... afraid it's no use, June. Cecil, he's not... The pain was too great, and they've given him morphine. Oh. He's unconscious. Uh, come on, June. We'll have to hurry. Oh, Miss Mayworth. Come on. You let go of me. You're hurting my arm. Yes, nurse. What is it? Why don't you see, Jerry? Just for a minute. But I thought they'd given him oh, morphine. Not yet. He, he's still begging them to wait. Yes, sir. You said... I know. I thought it best. You thought it best for him to die alone so that our wedding could be ten minutes earlier? Don't be a fool, June. There are a lot of people waiting at the church. Is that all that matters to you, what people think? Yeah, that and marrying where will do him the most good. Keep out of this, you dirty person. Per per <laughs> Sorry, Miss Mayworth. I should have kept my mouth shut. Yes, so what this man just said doesn't make any difference. But I love Jerry, do you understand? I loved him more than anything on earth. And now he's dying. Well, that kind of love isn't important. But Cecil, can't you see? There isn't any other kind of love. That's what love is. Oh, June, you're a sentimental fool. Oh. People don't marry for love anymore. Oh. Cecil... I'm sorry. I can't marry you. I was going to go through with it, but it w wouldn't be fair to either one of us. June. I know there are 200 people waiting at the church, but there are things more important than that. Things like love and life and death. And I'm going to do what little I can to save the, the life of the only man I've ever loved. Listen, June, you yes. can... Yes, but it helped Jerry any if I married him. Of course. If you could go through with it, you'd give him a chance. Can you get a license and a minister in time? Well, we have a license already. He asked us to get him one, and there's a minister in the next block. Get him as quick as you can. I'm ready. For as much as June and Gerald have consented together in holy wedlock, and there too have given and pledged their troth each to the other, and have declared the same by giving and receiving a ring and by joining hands. 
I pronounce that they are man and wife. operating room. Three hours. Oh, God, why don't they come and tell me? I can't stand it any longer. Oh, Jerry, if we'd only had a minute, just a minute together before they took you away. No, Fred. No. No, I, I mustn't talk like that. I mustn't. Oh, oh, why don't they come and tell me something? Yes. I, I came to tell you that your husband will live. Oh. Thank God. Oh, Jerry. Jerry, darling. I'm going to get well, June. Did they tell you? Oh, my dear. Yes, they told me. Jerry, I'm not dreaming, am I? Lean over. No, I... I guess I'm not dreaming. You have been listening to a romance featuring the love story girl and presented with the permission of Street and Smith, publishers of Love Story magazine. Listen for the love story girl in a new romance next week.